What is up everybody? This is FNH here with a brand new video top bot. Follow like or so this is the part two of the tutorial that I made initially, which I will leave a link in the description below for <laughs> Instagram follow like or so now this is the advanced tutorial that I want to discuss with you guys with the best settings, what you should use, what you should implement, and yeah, um we're gonna get right into it. So if you remember, if you have not watched it, like I said, the link will be in the description below. So if you have watched it or if you just know in general how to work with follow like or like the basic tutorial. We're gonna get right into the advanced portion of it now I'm gonna use the same one as before the account that I made it's, a, it's some random account I made as you can see there's an error. It's not gonna work um, So I want you to basically double click this Just sorry it, my follow like for some reason starts glitching after a while. So just gonna let it let it load <laughs> um, For some odd reason mine if I don't restart my computer every like seven eh, every week or so this is basically what ends up happening for some very odd reason. So to get right into it now, what we need to do, um, this is everything that that is from there before. But I'm going to show everything. I'm basically going to do comments as well as DM. And what we're going to do is, do remember again, if you are not going to comment or DM, or follow or unfollow, maybe just like, maybe just follow and unfollow. Whatever your preferences are, select what you need, and what you, what I want you to, you to remember is click Show Advanced Options. That is the main feature that I want you to click and remember. Once that's done, over here it'll tell you like all the different things of like your advanced options have done, all the photos you've liked, everyone you've white whitelisted, blacklisted, the words, the word, the whitelisted words, the blacklisted words, the users, followers, followings, etc., etc., etc. Um, basically, we're gonna go next, and over here, this is where like you start seeing the advanced sections pop up, where it all it says like scrape only top results, ignore private users, which is good. You don't want to like always add private users. You prefer people who are um, just let's say p uh, public. You don't want to get the private ones because they may not follow you because maybe that's why they're private. <laughs> they don't want to follow back. Um, again, you can even ignore users with no profile pictures. Um, this shows like, oh, maybe this account is not a real person. You don't want to interact with this specific person. It could be a bot. It could just be a fake account. It could be just an account someone made to look at some stuff or just to follow some certain things. And it could be many reasons. Again, you can, if you're someone who, let's say a female fitness blogger or vlogger or whatever it may be, you want to just target for female users vice versa male users um it could be all all those different things again the, these are the crucial ones where the blacklist uh, the stuff i was talking about ignore users with blacklisted words in profile which is pretty cool you can add your own blacklisted words in the initial section or i believe it has some also set up as well you can same thing and yeah you add whoever you wanted to same way the adding is in the same perspective um so it's literally the same users who tag normal search location uh comments etc etc so I'm just gonna cancel this. Go next. This is uh, the hashtags. Same thing. It works in almost the same perspective as well. It has like the users, the blacklisted words, photos only. You could do videos only. Some people only want to target the videos. Some people only want to target the photos. It could be all those different things as well. Again, your choice depending on which niche you're trying to go to, which you're, who you're trying to target, who you're trying to aim for. Let's go. Just don't let me know where I got those. <laughs> Let's go next. Now this is where now the, the advanced features start getting more complicated. So this one you we can have the ratio follower to following ratio. You can actually have this set up and it does it for you. I don't do this. I always do it on zero. The follow limit it tells you within that time frame when it's following how many you want to follow. Like when it runs the task for follow, it'll do three to five, and every three to five followers it'll randomly choose which one. It'll delay 20 seconds for the next following. So let's say it chose four followers. So after it follows one person, it'll wait 20 to 25 seconds again anywhere from between and then the next one it'll change again then the next one so this is good to have and i personally like to keep it at a 30 ish to 40 -ish second time frame so i definitely like to stay in that ballpark perspective and just to show you something else i made a tutorial or like a guide i should say that i wanted you to follow and go from here if you wanted to like increase your followings because again you could get not banned, but like they they kind of like mini ban you to a certain degree or block you per se, where you can't follow any more people. They just put like a block on you, Instagram, because they notice like, in like basically like they notice like invalid activity or unusual activity occurring. So they go like, yep, this person's either using a bot or he or she is not real or they themselves are using Instagram the way it's not intended to be used. Um, 
Now this, I'm mostly making this guide for someone who has the account for a little over a month. If it's brand new, it may not work. If you're watching the video a year from now, it may not work. The Instagram algorithm keeps changing. I'm trying to make this as updated as possible. So definitely do keep that in mind. I'll try to change it. It'll be in the description below for you guys to see. I'll try to update it as much as possible. So if you see the numbers change or tweaked up a year from now, you'll know why. Um, but yeah. So uh, the daily follow limit, like I said, you change it to what your needs are. Mine is currently like seven to eight hundred. Um, I've had more. I've had less, depending on like which account. I have a few accounts. Um, the other thing I always like to do is follow users who have a thousand followings. Or you can make this less. The reason I do this is because once you, because you can follow if they have over ten thousand followers or followings, I should say. Sorry, what's the point? And also, same, like, if they're following over a thousand users, think about it. What are the chances your account will show up on their feed? It, obviously, now your niche is getting much smaller. Not your niche, your search or your variety of people that you, this bot is picking up is getting smaller, which is good because you're weeding out the dirt. A thousand is still high. Maybe 500 would be better, maybe more efficient. For me, a thousand works. Again, this can literally change for people per people. A thousand is a lot. This person might be getting too many. And I know, again, Instagram is changing the algorithm a lot. Even those thousands don't, no one shows up anymore unless they're very closely related to this person's niche, like what this person likes to see. Let's say this person has a thousand followings and he or she, if from those thousands, 900 are like gaming, anime, robots, sci-fi, all this other stuff. But that other hundred is art and he or she loves to like, like, tag, comment, share art. They will only be recommended those users, rarely the other ones. Again, that's how the algorithm has been working. It's similar to YouTube. They've been updating and they've been changing it constantly, consistently. And it's always getting updated and whatnot. So definitely you have to keep that in mind. Again, you can also do how many followers they have. If they obviously have too many followers, they may not even care about you as much. I know some of them are like that. This one is another cool one. You can ignore private users again, or you don't have to follow followers. This is another one. Uh, next, this is the same thing. This is the unfollow ratio. Same way. The only one I like over here is don't un uh, blacklist unfollowed users. So you don't have to follow them again. So once you unfollow them, you'll blacklist them. You'll never follow them again. So you won't make the mistake of following them again. <laughs> And next, so the like is very simple. It's just same thing. How long do you want to wait until you do the next like? Um, like the delay time can be much less as it's not as crazy as the follow. Mines are like the likes are over like a thousand. I think it's a thousand to fifteen hundred. Again, this can vary significantly. And this I suggested over here. You can use this for both follows and likes. Um, like can always be more. The, the, usually the golden rule is like you can have a hundred or. 100 plus or 200 100 to 200 plus for like so if it was 30 here you can have 130 or 230 because again like isn't as cru criticized or crucial like basically in that sense as follows would be because that's more i guess bad because <laughs> you're not supposed to be doing that um comments so if you've never done the comments before i'm just showing this for now uh you can also do same thing comment with on photos all the only so this will basically like weed out other comments if you see someone with like over 10 comments maybe this person will look if it's 100 that person is not looking at your comment so there's no way no need to even comment now obviously i would suggest with comments as well to be very careful on your comments don't just say great work actually write somewhat generic but thorough out comments now this can suck because sometimes people this is gonna sound weird like some have debts and they use weird hashtags and I don't want you to say great job and the grandma's like dead like I, don't comment on something like that <laughs> it's gonna be weird so be very specific with your hashtags and the users you're trying to aim for with the comments um, next is I believe it's uh, uh, yeah cuz I chose this so I have to add it so the way you, it's literally great job grandma That's <laughs> so weird. Um, yeah. So comments added. Uh, this is the DM folder. So th again, this is pretty cool. This is only DM uh, people who are... So it says it over here. So I personally have mailed to only new followers because obviously if they followed you, it'll be cool to send them a DM. And then once you do that, you can literally be like, hey, you can have a picture or video actually attached as well. Like, hey, thanks for the follow. Make sure to sub FHNRT. See, something like that. And you can leave a link in there below as well. That's how I have it on my FNA channel as well. Um, 
you can obviously do that you can do something similar to this you can have the photo you can have whatever you'd like to attach and you can go from that route as well and i believe that's it and then it's just this time i don't know if this was as advanced as this one but yeah it, you literally can choose all the automations for like the follows the unfollows the shares the likes the unlikes the comments and the dms and you can choose the time frame and you can go from there so this is like literally the advanced tutorial that i wanted to show you guys on how you can work it out have the different configures and features and basically go from there so yeah um overall i do hope and I do really do hope this was actually helpful and informative for you guys and um, yeah if you overall like the video definitely give it a thumbs up it helps a lot if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell other than that FNH out peace